Hi guys, welcome to another video from Overbyte Gaming, and today we're taking a little look at Giants Uprising. Um, so, wedding's paid for, so I thought I'd treat myself to a, a smallish costing game. And this is the one I went for, because it sounds good, you know, being a giant smashing things. It literally says, Unlimited Destruction! So how could I resist, right? As I say, it's $15.99. Uh, I bought it on the Epic Game Store, but I believe it is on Steam as well. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on any other platforms. I couldn't find any references to any other, like, next-gen consoles or anything like that, so I'm assuming not. Uh, it is an early access game. Uh, it was an early access game when it was released in September of last year. It still is now. Apparently they've, they've stated that uh, it can be in early access up to a year, but we're looking, what, about 10 months in now? Uh, and see what the gameplay state is like. <clears throat> now, first of all, uh, I don't really want to say this like at the start, but it's kind of like the overriding thing. The, the game is like, you're a giant, destroy shit. But the destroying shit is weightless and boring. I'm sorry guys, it's just weightless and boring. It can tr your giant controls like a fucking elephant, but you know that makes sense. I'm okay with that. You know he's a giant, right? So he should be like a bit more cumbersome, slow move. It's like uh, in Pacific Rim, the first one they got the sort of sense of uh, they moved slower, but there was weight to their movements. And then the second one they didn't really get it right. It's kind of like the second one in this that. You move slow to indicate you're big and hefty, but there's no real weight or power behind it. You just kind of wave at things and they explode. So it's a little bit disappointing. The game itself starts off with you uh, going on your giant way and then being captured, partnered up with a human guy and made to fight in a giant arena. Fighting other giants, which is also not particularly interesting. Uh, seeing as that usually devolves into block, counter, repeat. And that's about it. And your human partner that they pair you up with says, I know, let's get out of here. So you knock the door down and leave. Why, 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 why are you the first child to have done that? Never mind. And then you make your way across the countryside, killing humans, destroying settlements, and cannon turrets that fire at you by lobbing shit at them. It's just quite uninteresting for a game that is like, yeah, destroy everything. It's just, yeah, I, I wave my hand at this wooden tower and it falls to bits. Yeah. <clears throat> the controls of your giant, as I said, are quite cumbersome, but that is to be expected. You are piloting a giant. But you have uh, a few attacks. So you have a stomp, which is like a radio attack. You have a uh, double fist pound into the ground, which kind of goes out in front of you. Uh, you have your standard sort of punchy punchies. And uh, you can pick up stuff, bash things with it, and throw it. And that's pretty much it. You can block and dash, and if you dash, you can attack while dashing. I suppose that's another one. And there'll be instances in the game where you're like fighting a swarm of enemies, and they're not taking any health off you at all. And all of a sudden, something will happen, and you will lose almost all of your health, and you'll be like, Oh, what's going on there? I have no idea what happened. <laughs> God's honest. I, I just happily, well, you know, I'm just smashing away at hordes of humans, and then all of a sudden, my health almost gone. I'm like, what? Where, where did, where, what, what, where, where did that go? What hit me there? No idea. Uh, so you do, they do have an impressive sort of count of the humans. Uh, a lot of them are archers, and the archers' arrows will stick in the terrain. So a lot of the time they're firing such a ridiculous amount of arrows at you that the terrain looks furry because it's got so many bloody arrows in it. Uh, the voice acting is okay. The giant doesn't have much voice acting because he just grunts, but the human companion has done well. Uh, they try and do a cheeky, sort of almost comedic 
it reminds me of I don't know why I made that strange noise, but um, it reminds me of Giant Citizen Kabuto in the they're sort of shooting for that sort of that sort of um, comedic tone in the in the opening in the intro because it starts off and it tells you about how giants were working with the race of men and they were happy and stuff and it goes on for about three minutes like that and then it's like he starts laughing he says no no can't do it humans fuck the giants over <laughs> I'm just like you could have got that out like two minutes ago I, I've been say, I'm listening to this unskippable cutscene and you, you got three minutes in and then you just changed it on me I'm not laughing I'm, I'm actually a little bit annoyed I mean, the voice acting in the intro is fine. Like I said, the voice acting overall is fine. It's no problems at all. In fact, I quite like the guy that does your uh, uh, your human companion, who also had a humorous name that I laughed so hard at I can't remember it. But there you go. Yeah, I just the game itself uh, doesn't run particularly well, even though it's not a looker when it comes to uh, graphic fidelity. Uh, it's, it's you know that's the Graphic for day isn't a knock at it specifically when it's a 16 pounds game, what do you expect? Uh, it's done by Varsav Game Studios and yeah, it's... If I'd pay more than 16 pounds I'd probably be a little bit annoyed but uh, I also think 16 pounds might be a bit much in its current form. Uh, you do have the opportunity to customise your giant so you, you have a load of like gear that you can change out at the beginning and that doesn't appear in any of the cutscenes. The cutscenes will feature the standard giant model that they start with without customization. So it kind of takes you out. I was I spent the first five minutes again thinking that was a different character, but no, it was me. <laughs> yeah. As I said, performance not so great. Uh, controls are clunky. You know, I'm I'm giving that one a pass, as I said, but even then. You're a giant, you should have weight to you, and he just doesn't feel he, he does. It's, it sounded great in theory, and I bought it, and I was like, oh, be a giant, that's cool. Not many games have really sort of done that sort of thing. You know, like you know, being a mythological fantasy giant. That's pretty cool. You've got giant sits a computer, but he was more like a, a lizard, wasn't he? He wasn't like human, but he was just a big ass human. So, yeah, I was looking forward to that, and I played it, I was like, okay, maybe it gets better, mm, no, not really. Uh, there is a mission where you've got to, um, quite early on, where you need to stop humans from pursuing you by breaking a bridge. And it's, the two sides of the bridge are held up by two chains apiece. So, me being me, just decided to go smack the chain. Didn't even get to the chain, the bridge just collapsed underneath me and I died after dropping like... Well, comparatively, if I was giant size, I would say... Five feet into a puddle. And that killed him. So... There's not much else to say, it's... it's you just... Don't get much variety. You just do the same things with the same bad guys, and, and the humans look pretty bad. They look like paper cutouts. And, and oh, they go flying. They absolutely go flying, but it's not. It's not in a satisfying sort of bodily way. Once again, it's just like. It's like throwing a crisp. It's. There's no weight to anything. It's oh, really unsatisfying. Which is disappointing when the game is supposed to be built with destruction that you cause, and the destruction itself is just so underwhelming. I mean, this isn't a review, this is first impressions, this is what I think about it. I mean, you know, it's still got two months to go, and maybe they'll extend uh, the early access and fix some of these issues. Like the, the non customized giant turning up in cutscenes, I imagine that's a relatively easy fix, so I imagine that will be dealt with. Oh, another weird thing, actually, thinking about it. Uh, the subtitles are completely out of sync. Like, you'll be getting told something and the subtitles will be from, like, a minute ago. It's really weird. I haven't seen that before. It's just a strange one. So, I mean, it's £16, you know. 
it's not a huge amount of money to toss in the toilet if you want to try it out. <laughs> Hopefully they'll, they'll improve it and uh, when it comes to their full launch, but given that's purportedly two months away, I, I don't think it's going to get a whole lot better. I mean, maybe the subtitles and the, the, the cutscene giant can be sorted, but like, things like adding weight to the giant's movements and, and the humans when you smush them, it's just... <clears throat> I think that's too, a step too far. I think it's just going to be pretty much what we've got. In which case, I can't recommend it. Unfortunately, I really want it to like I really want it to be a badass giant destroying everything, but... No, this is one of the unfortunate few times. Um, well, I've had to come out and be like, I've just played a game I don't like very much. And you know the worst thing? I've got to catch the footage yet. <laughs> okay, guys, well, that's been my first impression of Giants Uprising. It is available on both Steam and Epic for £15.99 pence, or your regional equivalent. If you fancy giving it a go, I don't know, maybe you'll enjoy it more than I do. But oh, it's just a huge missed opportunity for me. I just love the sound of it and I'm a bit disappointed. Anyway guys, take it easy. I'll catch you next time.